Let's talk about that for a second, because I've been through that process. I've had a hip replacement and I tried everything to avoid doing that. And the pain just got so bad and I did my right hip and I don't want to do my left. It still has some cartilage left. So I want Joy to be successful very quickly because that would be a much better outcome. There's no question about it. I mean, look, the surgery was successful and most of them are, but it's not fun. You know, and it's, there's a, there's a period of, it, it, the whole thing's expensive. That's the problem. Who would, nobody wants to do it, but if you can't walk and it's changing your life in a negative manner, you're going to do it. But it's very expensive. Developing true therapies that get to the root cause has the ability to slash that budget, slash the amount of uh, monies that employers are paying and insurance payers are going to have to pay out, uh, as well as obviate the need for more invasive therapies, like in our case, a joint replacement. Costly, invasive, nobody wants to do with, deal with that. Just imagine what happens, even if you don't obviate the need completely, but delay a joint replacement by five or 10 years. That has a significant impact on the bottom line of insurance payers. And let's be honest, ultimately, ultimately in all of healthcare, the end customer is not a patient, it's not a doctor, it's not even an insurance company, it's the PBM of the insurance company. So really what we're trying to do, in addition to bringing patients relief, is give these insurance payers an alternate first-line therapy so they don't have to go straight to the invasive and costly. That's a win-win.